Hey, well, it's good to be here. I, uh, it's just about this time of year that I usually uh, am looking for something like a surf PHP conference or palm tree PHP, but uh, it was a lot shorter drive, so I'll go with ski PHP. But no, uh, we, we really appreciate the efforts by Steve uh, to coordinate the conference. Um, it's uh, one of the things that I've learned is if you can uh, take PHP and mix it with entrepreneurship, that amazing things happen. And this conference certainly is an example of uh, somebody getting a creative idea and, and making it come to life. So uh, appreciate that effort. <clears throat> so property solutions, as was mentioned before, we build software for real estate companies. Um, uh, about half the assets in the world are real estate, and uh, we're we're building software that drives those those assets. Whether it be uh, building leasing software, um, accounting software, um, marketing, sales, whatever it might be, uh, we build kind of an end-to-end -end solution for that space. Um, when I when I I've been coding PHP for about a decade now. And it was probably, I think it was maybe 12 years ago, I was in college, and I got this idea for a website, which uh, some of you may have heard of, it's called DearElder.com. And I had no clue how to build a website. Um, I was in an information systems class in that semester when I started it, and I remember that there was this assignment to set up a Hotmail email address. And I remember being so intimidated. How in the world am I gonna do this? Set up a Hotmail email address? You know, so I was, I was about as, uh, as, as much of a knave when it came to technology as could possibly be. But I had this concept for this website, and I really wanted to build it. So I went and I called my sister, and I said, hey, you know, I need some cash. I'm going to go and hire somebody to build a website for me. And so uh, I asked my sister, do you want 10% ownership in the business? Or, or do you want me to, or do you just want to have a, a loan structure? And she said, just, just pay me back, please. And uh, so she took the loan uh, option and gave me a thousand bucks. So I went and I bought, um, again, I had no clue how to code a website or do anything. Um, so I spent the first 300 bucks on uh, paying a guy to put the homepage together. And uh, after 300 bucks had come and gone very quickly, I realized that there was just no way that I was a thousand dollars was going to build this website. And so I had 700 bucks left. So I went and I bought Visual Studio and this big book. And uh, again, having no clue, like I didn't understand the difference between web software and you know computer software. And so anyway, I cracked into Visual Studio. I started building the system. I had it working with an access database, and I blew the other 700 bucks and realized that you don't build web, you know, a website with an access database. So anyway, the thousand bucks was gone, and I was back at at, uh, at the starting point. So. I went and I got this job in Alpine for this, this uh, web design company, and I told them, I will work for free if you'll teach me to build websites. And I got in there. Of course, they were using PHP. Um, it took me about three weeks to, to get the site off the ground and to, to, be, to become actually proficient in writing procedural PHP. And that is what is so absolutely awesome about PHP, is that you can, you can have a concept not even know how to code, and within weeks you can, you know, the code, I, I look at the code now and I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's the most atrocious thing I've ever seen. Um, but, but I was able to build it and, and make the business economically viable. And so I, I lo absolutely love PHP. Um, today, my, my uh, real estate software company, we process over a billion dollars per month now in rent transactions, and it's all running on PHP. So PHP, you can start uh, small, you can start with procedural, uh, a, a procedural approach, um, and as you evolve and as, as you, um, as a software engineer mature, um, the code also can mature. And so it, it, the, the language does a very good job, I think, of scaling with, with you. So, uh, so anyway, um, some of the things that I've learned as, as I've, uh, over 10 years, uh, grown a company that's been pretty much entirely based on PHP, um, I've learned that, uh, first of all, never, never try to compare a float in PHP. I don't know if you guys have done that. Doesn't work. BC, BC comp, right? Um, I've learned that uh, recursive functions should always eventually stop recursing. Um, I've learned that the hard way many times. Um, I've learned that uh, there's a, if you compare 
uh, domain expertise or a business proficiency um, with your coding ability, that it becomes amazingly powerful. Um, people that I know that have a strong command on accounting, um, with debits and credits and all that mumbo jumbo, if you, if you can have that strong domain expertise and then pair it with accounting, it becomes very, very powerful. Um, I've learned that uh, a, a business, um, when we started our business, we wrote this business plan and ended up winning a bunch of business plan competitions. And I go back and I look at the business plan now, and I, you know, it's, it's kind of funny to read how, how little we understood about what we were trying to do at the time. Um, but to me, our, uh, the database schema for a technology company is the most fundamental and most complete picture of your business plan. And the way you build your technology impacts the way that you support it, the way that you sell it, and uh, every, every aspect of your business eventually is touched by the, uh, the, the database schema that you start with. Um, <clears throat> I've, uh, I've learned that from, from the standpoint of entrepreneurship, and um, to me, I, I define entrepreneurship as creating value. And uh, um, with, with our business, we've been lucky enough to never have to raise venture capital. And uh, we started out, I think we took um, less than a million dollars in original seed capital to start our business. And the beautiful thing about having a technical skill set um, such as PHP, you can go out and if you have a concept, uh, let's say you come up, something pops into your head at, at midnight, some idea, you can have a prototype ready and cranking at 6 a.m. in the morning. And uh, it's uh, PHP empowers entrepreneurship. Um, it, it allows, whether it's a business that you work in or a business you're trying to start, um, it, it's just such a, an, an amazing tool to, to um, help create value out of nothing. So uh, anyway, I didn't, I didn't have uh, you know, um, too much time, but uh, um, I, I appreciate the opportunity to get up, and uh, we're just thrilled to be a sponsor of the conference here. So thank you.